be seated. Hello, Your Honor. This is the case of Lawrence versus Payne. Thank you, Jerome. You're welcome. Good day, everyone. Mr. Lawrence, you say you are here petitioning the court for a paternity test because your best friend of 10 years recently dropped a bomb on you. Uh, you claim she suddenly told you she believes you are the father of her son, three-year-old Antonio Chandler. Now, Ms. Payne, you admit, though you were engaged and sleeping with another man at the time of conception, you believe that Mr. Lawrence is actually your baby's father. Now, Mr. Lawrence, please tell the court the circumstances under which you found you were possibly the father of Ms. Payne's child. My best friend of 10 years revealed a, a big secret to me last week that I could possibly be the father of her son, Antonio. You are the father. When she did it, she called me on the phone. She was like, um, the court is going to call you for a paternity test. I say, for what? She said, for, for Antonio. I said, Antonio already got a father already. So I said, why would, you, why would you wait so long to tell me that I need to take a paternity test? So she's like, no, um, we had sex a long time ago with her. I'm like, no, that's not the case. So I hung up the phone, I ain't got time for it. Right. I said, I'm not finna talk, I'm not finna do Did nothing. Did you have sex with her? Yeah, I had sex with her. Exactly, you are the father. Okay. I only had sex now, with one other man. Now I went to the, now I, I, I took her, I went to the store, grabbed me a drink, and I came back home, and I thought about it. So I said, you know what, I'm gonna give her the benefit of the doubt. So mm -hmm. I called her back and I said, you know what, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do the paternity test for you. Because for one, if he is my child, you know I don't want nobody, out, my son out here without a father, you know what I'm saying? And if he go without a father then, you know, so I take, you know, full responsibility for it. When she told you that Antonio could be your child, or you were his father, your first inclination was to say that's not possible or what? She named the son after the father. So you so felt like... You, a, he already had a, a father. He already got a father. He's a junior. Did so. you know your best friends? Did you ever know that there were questions regarding no. his no. paternity? No. Miss Payne, you held this secret all this time from your very best friend? What? Yes, Your Honor. I was, I was, I was scared. I, it was all kind of emotions going through my mind. I didn't want to, this is my best friend and I love him. I didn't want to love me. throw, man, you don't I love you're me. my you're best friend. A big I knew like that. How you love me? You keep a big secret. Okay, on, so right? what, but I've you told you, me. and instead of what you being, of and instead you of you being like a man that. and doing right things, you want to shut me out. Talk to me, talk to me. I was scared. I was scared to tell him. I didn't want him to think, to act the way that he's acting now. And he's trying to act. How was supposed to act? How was supposed to act? The moment I had my child and they brought him in, I looked at him, I was like, oh my God, he looked exactly like Sydney. But you named him after another man. Yes. I couldn't come to words to tell my fiance at the time that I had sex with another man. I, could, I couldn't come to tell him that. He asked me, because we were on an on and off relationship. My fiance comes in and he's like, have you been messing around with me on, our, on the times that we're on and off? And because he doesn't look like me. I just denied it. I was so scared. I wanted to tell him I just couldn't. I just denied it. I said no. And he ended up signing the birth certificate and I named my child after him. So you all are best friends at this time. Yes. So you know her while she's having the baby. You know you I didn't know she had a baby. Like, I just, one day. I thought you were best friends. No, I didn't. We, we, we fell out of touch oh. for a while. That's the reason why I didn't know she had No, tell them what really happened. And she knew I had a girl already, and I moved no, away. No, I didn't know until you took my virginity and then called me the next day and I told me you didn't want to leave me on because you, that you had a girl. She just said I, I took her virginity. Let me tell you, Angela is lying because of the fact that. I'm, I'm lying. I was out of town with the mother of my kids. She knew that. When I came back into town, I called her and told her I was coming. And when I came into town, I got on the phone, I'm like, yeah, she was like, do you want to kick it? I'm like, yeah. So I go pick her up, and that same day I had sex with her. Come on now, if I took uh, anybody virginity, it took me that fast, that, that quick to do it. The same day, you were, you were you a lie. It wasn't no same if, day. If, so wait a minute, I, I, um, knew, I know we're know here to talk girl. about paternity, but I want to figure out what kind of best friend relationship is this? Now, <laughs> what, what is this? When you were in a relationship with another woman. Yes. You were engaged. You know, we had that relationship where she called me, she had a problem with her boyfriend. It's like, you know, like, like guys do. We get so you calm. sleep together, but you also are each other's confidant. Yeah, but we wasn't having sex wasn't having all sex. the time. All right. We, we did. No, we, we, had, we, we had an Moving on, moving on. So the bottom line is, 
You give your son another man's name and tell that man he's the father when you know the baby looks just like Mr. Lawrence in your mind. So now the other guy is gone. Right. What happened to him? Well, he's been in and out of he's been in and out of the picture for a while. Okay. And we kind of split up. I moved. Does out he the have state. a relationship with Antonio? Not at all. Why would she name the little boy after the father if he wasn't gonna be there? If he wasn't what gonna be there. What you mean? Why? On, because man. that's who I was with at the time. So you that's think who I was with okay, at the time. I don't know who she was with. Not the who I was with. Between you and him, you let me ask you this. Pull the name out the sky or something. She know the father. Mr. Lawrence, why do you think she's lying? The reason why, let me tell you, Judge. One day, I went out to her house. I brought some drinks out there. We get to right. drinking, you know what I mean? And so, as I'm drinking, you know, one thing, she came, first of all, she came to the door with a short skirt on, you know. Okay. So, no, she came to the door, I was dressed. How am I always dressed? Automatically, I already knew Okay, what, what is this safe? getting but, to? So, we was having sex, and a big boom, like, boom, 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 at That's the door. That's a lie. I hear another boom. I said, you need to get up and go to the door and see who that is. So, she get up and go to the door and peep out the peephole, and I'm guessing it was one of the stalkers or one of her boyfriends. Exactly, you don't even know. Unknown, but you're she lying. didn't open up the door. You're not even telling so, me. So I'm saying to myself, like, that, that gotta be a dude out there. He, like, opened up the door, and so now you're kicking at the door. So I hurry up. Now you're saying you don't know stuff. who it is, and now you so hear said, somebody at said, the door. You, you lying. Don't have to leave. So I jump out the window. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Naked? No, I put on all my stuff. I jump out the window. <laughs> and so you I put get on your clothes, then jumped out the window. I put on my clothes, then jump out the okay. window. Okay. And then I said, I'm never going over there no more. A year later, she hit me up on Facebook. She said, come out here, like, to come see me. You know what I'm saying? So I went out there and seen her. This time, I left the car running. You know, she came downstairs. <laughs> she came downstairs. I don't know why you said She came downstairs lying. with the baby in her hand. And she could have told me right then and there, you know what I'm saying, as we sit in the car, that this is, this is, my, uh, this is my son. You know, I'm holding the baby. She over there cheese and carrying on. You know what I'm saying? So she could have just said, like, you're the father. I think you're the father of this child. And I asked And you holding the I'm baby. Holding, I'm holding the baby. And I, you're looking at him, and I'm you don't see your face? No, because it was kind of quick, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm finna get up out of here. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if a dude gonna jump out the bushes this time. You know, from the previous time I came but over But you, there. you didn't so, look at the baby and just say, I, oh my goodness, this baby looks baby. just like me. No, it was like two months old. So I just looking at the baby and I gave it back to her and I left. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. your mind when you decided to call and tell him? My son, he's three years old now, and he needs to know who his dad is. It's not about us, it's about him. But why wait three years, though? Why wait three years? Why wait three years to tell me, and he calling the other guy daddy? Why would you wait three years to say because that? Because I that's, knew that's you was foolish, gonna act man. the same on, way you're that's, acting that's, now. That's not this right. This man that's tarnished not right, my though. name that's not right. and you everything. Three... Who did? His, Mr. Lawrence. Tarnished he, your, your at, best friend? Yes. After I told him, when I called him and told him that I think that that is his son, he called me a liar, a whore. He was talking about me in the streets. I'm hearing all kind of stuff. When in reality, it's about That's not true it's at not all, about us anymore. It's That's about this little boy. That's so you should have been a man and was ready to get the DNA test going and get to the bottom of it. But instead, he wanted to down me and say I'm a whore. Then I tried to call him so he can spend time with him and bond, and we can try to work things First of out. All, it is, I it's didn't hear like anything. That. It's nothing like that because of the fact that. If she was trying to do all this, we were spending time together, Your Honor. You know what I'm saying? And she used to bring little Antonio over. And he used to be around me all the time. So if she was trying to make me spend time with him and make me be the father's child, why didn't she just tell me right then and there? Because you had too much going on. And I was spending on. time with this little boy so, and everything. So, Ms. Payton, were you trying to get him to bond with your son and you I, just didn't I want really to tell was. him? I really was. I kind of needed a boost. I wanted him. I thought that once he looked at this little boy, that he would see a similarity and what kind of, How can you know, somebody just look at a child and just because say, he looks just like you. And just say, look I'm at the him. Daddy. He looks like you. It just like doesn't you. work that way. He looks like you. It just like doesn't work you. that way without you just saying, he looks like I'm the you. daddy. Did you ever tell me that? No. Miss Payne, were you trying to get him to bond with your son and you I, just didn't I want really to tell was. him? I really was. I kind of needed a boost. I wanted him. I thought that once he looked at this little boy, that he would see a similarity and what kind of, you know, just look at a child just because say, he looks just like you. Look at him. Daddy. He looks like you. It just like doesn't you. work that way. He looks like you. It just like doesn't work you. that way without you just saying, he looks I'm like the you. daddy. Did you ever tell me that? No. So why are you sitting here lying and he saying that you like told you. me this, this, and this? And that? That's not what like happened. You. That's not what happened. I never Whatever. tarnished okay. your name. Whatever. You did. You. you did on, tarnish man. my name. You probably have a whore. Now you're in. You said now you don't know her? I said don't nobody know where I stay at. 
I don't know what she's saying. She's saying I tarnished her name in the streets. You did. I never talk bad about her. You surely I never did. Never said a word about her in the streets. Mr. Lawrence, you do admit you were intimate with her. Yes. During the time of conception. One time. But unprotected. And I had a condom on. No, I had a condom on. You know, I was you drinking that night. You did not. I was drinking. I don't know. You didn't have I don't a know condom if the condom on. slipped off or not. I don't know. It was dark. And you don't know. I was trying but to get up out of there. you know you had it on. Come on now. You don't know. So I don't know, know. what happened. I was kind of tipsy. I'm not going to say I was now. all the way drunk. Come on Because now. I snapped out of when I had the boom at the door. But I got up out of there, so I don't know. You didn't we had have sex one twice on. that night. You know what I'm saying? Oh, we had sex boy. twice that night. So at that time, were you aware or did you know if she was sleeping with anybody else for certain? Yes, because he was knocking at the door. The one he, he wasn't, wasn't knocking at the door. door. Yes. He had to, who, who it knocked was at the not door him that hard? Knocking at, at the, the door. door. So, so what? Payne, it was just a uh, routine. Were you thing? only sleeping with Mr. Lawrence and your fiance at the time? At the time, those were the only two that I've slept with. Yes, it was. And he took a DNA test. He's not the father. So Sydney is the father of Antonio. She's lying. I don't know where you're getting these stories from. You, I don't know. You are I don't the know father. You, with this. you are the father. You are. Lying. You, are. you really believe she's just lying? Yes. And her reason would be? First of all, if, a, if I'm having sex with her and another dude is at the door, so what is this, like a routine thing? What, she's got guys coming in and out of something? I don't know what's going on. So you, you had sex with me and then you just told me that I wasn't your boyfriend. So when I left, then he came in and had sex with you. Who First knows? of all, you knew I that can't, I, I can't just was in, just had a fiance. You knew but all you do everything. understand that there could be a chance you are yes, this young yes. man's father. Yes, yes. All right, so in your statement to the court, you said you prepared a calendar. Yes, do you have I that did. calendar? I sure do. Jerome, will you hand that to me, please? There you go. All right. So the yellow are the days that you were intimate with your fiance at the time. Yes. On the eighth, you broke up with your fiance. Yes. And then on the tenth, you got together with Mr. Lawrence. Yes. Although the 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th, and 16th, you were with your fiance again. Yes, we got back together. Mr. Lawrence, as you look at this calendar, do you see how you fit in this picture? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't, I just, I just don't understand, like. I don't well, see how I fit nine in. months oh. later, Antonio was born and you, were one of the men, even though you only had a day. <laughs> you understand that, right? Yes, I understand that. So, Miss Payne, you say your fiance was tested and you're 100% positive that he is not the father. Yes. So now you're confident Mr. Lawrence is the father. Yes, I am. I'm 100% sure I haven't been with anybody else but him. And my ex-fiance, he's the ex-fiance is not his father. Sydney is his father. So what are you hoping for? I'm hoping that I, I want my best friend back for one, but it's not about us anymore. It's about Antonio. And I want him to get to know his father and bond with his father. I don't want to be with Sydney. I don't want anything from him. I just want him to be a father to my child. <laughs> Mr. Lawrence. She doesn't want anything from you, and she misses your friendship. She would like that back, but she just wants you to be a father to her child if it's determined that you are his biological father. What are you hoping for? I'm hoping that I am the father a little bit, but at the same you time, are. the little boy would need a father, you know what I mean? Like, I already have a son of my own. So just to raise another little boy and, you know, be there for him, you know, I'd love to do that. But if it's not, then I don't know how I'm going to make it work with her as far as the friendship because she lied to me about this. Something as big as this. And then, you know, I don't think I can trust her no more. You know what I mean? I just don't think so. But as far as working right. on our friendship, if I am the daddy, then maybe. Well. Because I know we got to make it work for the child. So absolutely. I'm willing to do That's that. all that matters. Yeah. Well, it's time for the results. Jerome. Thank you. You're welcome. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows.
In the case of Lawrence versus Payne, when it comes to three-year-old Antonio. Mr. Lawrence, you are not the father. Jerome, Mr. Lawrence, how you feel? I don't feel good at all, you know what I mean? I don't feel good about the situation, but if I'm not the father, I'm not the father. There's nothing I can do about that. I can't just sit there and just, you know, I can't take this right now, you know what I mean? Like, you just lied all this time. Ms. Payne, <laughs> there's obviously a color missing out of your box of crayons. <laughs> Is there something you failed to tell the court? I mean, I, I thought he was his father. I'm just 100% sure. There has to be someone else. Not in that month. Ms. Payne, I'll ask you one more time, and then we'll leave it at that. Was there someone else that you just weren't telling the court or Mr. Lawrence you were in a sexual relationship with during that span of time? In April, there was someone else. But in, in May, it was just those two. So what do you say to your best friend? I apologize. I was wrong. I'm sorry. I hope you can forgive me. If not, I understand. But I truly am sorry. Is there anything you'd like to say to her? No. It's important that you, for your child's sake, try to find some closure to this issue. You just stood here a moment ago and said, I don't want anything from him. What's important is my son. And I want you to follow through on that and live up to that. You know, I don't know if you just stood here and lied today or if you just got your dates mixed up. I was always taught anything short of the whole truth is a lie. <laughs> so you can't drag people to court on the basis of a half truth because that's a lie. All right, I think you learned a very valuable lesson today. Mr. Lawrence, I wish you the best of luck, and I'm sorry things didn't go the way that you wanted them to. Court is adjourned. I'm gonna continue being a mother to my son, but I am gonna contact the person who I was sexually active with during you know, that time. After leaving paternity court, um, I'm completely done with her. There's nothing that she can say to me. I mean, I'm just done.